What's up, Facebook, YouTube? I'm over at the Will Rogers Airport in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I'm getting ready to head home. It's been a long journey. Been uh, shot at, and I don't know. It's been crazy here, but I met some really, really good, good people in churches, ministries, Forgotten Ministries being one of them. They uh, they have a place called Mercy House, and they they house uh, homeless men and women, children too. Feed them in the evenings, close during the day. But uh, Jeremiah and the crew, Anthony, Peggy. They're great folks. Been teaching the word of God as, as subtly as I can because I noticed that uh, when you get a little bit too uh, warrior for God, <laughs> um, some people just reject it and it turns them right around the wrong way, you know. So, um, so I uh, I don't say too much about me and all these things, but my wife was pregnant, and so. Um, once I got shot at, I sent my wife and my daughter back home to Oregon because um, I wouldn't be teaching the Word of God anymore if one of a stray bullet would have hit either one of them. So I'd probably be in prison, and that's the truth of it. Um, but uh, my daughter, who was just born on February 14th, beautiful little girl, um, she uh, got RSV, and so I posted on Facebook, you know, that I needed help. I put a GoFundMe page up. I put a link to my PayPal, which, uh, you know, unless people are sitting in church, uh, they don't feel compelled to give too often when somebody's asking for help. But I'm not out here for me. I never have been. And I never wanted to be in Oklahoma. But here I am, 2,000 miles away from my sick daughter. Okay. So, you know, come on. Anyways, point is, is that you may never know who you're meeting when you're talking to somebody. Ever. I mean, you should never take anything for granted. That poor guy you meet on the corner that's begging for money, you don't know what happened, how he got there. So why are you going to judge him? Think about it. He may be trying to do the right things. And you're condemning him for sitting on the corner begging for money. Because the way he knows how to make money may not be an upstanding way for God to tell you to go ahead and make some money. But, so he chooses a path other than what you would choose. Well, are you righteous? Do you have that righteous judgment to give upon that person? Are you sure about that? Anyways. So, I did manage to raise enough money to get back to Oklahoma by the grace of God, or back to Oregon, Portland, Oregon, by the grace of God. And um, I get to go hold my little girl. Thank you, my friends and family and strangers. You know, uh, I can be a little bit forceful with the way I teach the word of God because um, and I've tried to learn subtlety uh, a little bit more so than I had before because sometimes it's not well received you know um, when you're talking to people um, there's a there's a everybody has the ability to be bipolar that's just the truth of it evil good whatever whatever you want to say it and you, you know how you want to say it. But um, if you're leaning more toward the good side that day, you may take it positive if somebody comes preaching hellfire at you. But if you're more, leaning more the other way, you need the subtleness about what's being said to you. Otherwise, you're going to totally reject it. And that's not doing the work of God either. So it's, it's, it's a balancing act that I had to learn myself. And, uh, you know, I'm no street preacher. But I do have a way with writing things out and videoing them that seem to work so I don't mind doing those things but I'm, I'm not going to go stand in a crowd with 30 people and even at the pulpit I'm, one time I got up to give testimony and the only thing that could come out of my mouth was God's with you God bless you, amen, Jesus Christ is with you you know, I was like okay, so you know a lot of the 
you know, the spirit will compel you on what to say in, in those moments. Not even, uh, my prayers are pretty simple too, you know. But yeah, I'm going, gonna go hug my daughter because of some good folks that I've met here. Well, one of them, is, his name is Ernesto. He has a, a carpenter or a construction business he runs. Good guy, him and his family. Um, hooked me up with about, well, it was, ended up being $135 worth of work and donated $85 to me besides that. Um, and that was his son-in-law who did that. And he's a person who lives in Enid, Oklahoma. Um, this guy, a guy named Brian, he's a great guy. Uh, he gets misguided, as we all do. You know, it's not my job to judge him. Man. He'll stand in front of God for his things, whatever it is. It may be a total positive by the time he gets there. He might turn it all around. You never know where somebody's at on the path. Um, Jeremiah and the Forgotten Ministries. Those guys, you know, uh, I don't remember everybody's name. I have a head injury messes with my short-term memory conversion but it doesn't it's okay you know those i thank them deeply because they've given me showers and dinners and um see what's it, our daily bread I've gone, I've gone there many times and had lunch you know at the 580 cafe even they give away free coffee at this cafe in Eno, oklahoma to the homeless complimentary coffee to anybody it doesn't matter if you're homeless or not you may just be broke that day you walk through those doors you can get a cup of coffee and if it's cold outside, the bathroom is really warm. The, the, they let you sit in there and drink your cup of coffee. We will not kick you out. It's an awesome place to go. Um, shoot. The uh, Evangel Assembly of God, Pastor Lowry. Um, the Youth Field, Pastor Marshall Billingsley. He gave me work while I'm here. Um, Pastor Dave Jones, the Wacomas Christian Church. That's another guy. Set this guy up in more ways than one. Helped me in so many different ways. I mean, he knows what he's done. And the whole church themselves. Dr. Breckenridge, you know, and uh, Bill Winchester. <laughs> and those guys. Uh, great guys. Thank you. Uh, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back to Enid. Uh, so, still want to be here, too. I like it. You know, I like the people. The people are great. All right, guys. I'm going to post this on YouTube and Facebook. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Donate some money. Whatever. Whatever I have left over when I'm done with this whole back to Portland and to Enid. I, I came up with a plan to buy rice and Bibles and ship them to... Because I get requests, like, daily sometimes from people who need food. Just food. Rice. And they, they usually ask for rice. I'm like, man, rice, half of it gets thrown away here in America. I know none of it would go to waste there. And Bibles, they don't even have Bibles to read. And, you know, I like to buy some Bibles and give to them, you know. Anyways, so, you know, at the end of this whole thing, the money's not going to go to waste. It's going to continue helping people like just like it's helping me today. So thank you very much.